No one knows what happened to Dimitri, aka Enzo, after the end of Season 4. But after being stripped of his rank for helping Hopper and risking his life against the Demogorgons, Enzo deserves to be reunited with his son and sent on a nice vacation in a warm climate. After being dragged along on all sorts of wild adventures, with Hopper and Joyce, Murray's become one of the favorite adult characters. Murray not only deserves to be happy, but he also deserves to open his own karate school. After everything she went through in order to discover the truth about Henry Creel in Season 4, Nancy should be able to save Hawkins and snag a top writing job at the Star Paper for the scoop, or maybe open a gun range. If Robin deserves anything more than a Sunday from Scoops Ahoy, it's to find her own special someone. Everyone else has been able to grow and mature through a loving relationship, and it seems like Robin is always the third wheel. It might be too late to tell Lucas's story in Stranger Things, and he often seems like the least utilized cast member despite being the most level-headed and pragmatic. Lucas should be rewarded for being reliable and stalwart through the whole series, with the most growth and maturity. With Hopper back and alive as a new parent for his family, Jonathan's Stranger Things Season 5 happy ending can involve finally healing from his family's collective trauma and charting his own course. Dustin seeing his friend die in front of him and in his arms while having to leave him in the upside down in order to get back to safety is going to take a lot of healing in Season 5. Mike is a master strategist, so he'll no doubt discover the perfect way to defeat Vecna. But hopefully when all is said and done, his happy ending will be like a fairy tale out of Will's painting. A happy ending for Will would look like being accepted and celebrated by his loved ones and finally free from the darkness of the Upside Down once and for all. After the loss and grief she suffered, Max deserves to have some stability in her life a second chance with Lucas, and get a good night's sleep without worrying that Vecna is going to claim her or one of her friends next. While Steve may not win Nancy's heart back, he'll need to beat Dustin's support in Season 5. And if Steve could have a happy ending in Stranger Things, it would involve everything he talked about while he was driving the RV. Joyce deserves a loving home filled with laughter, some pampering, and to end the day in the arms of the man she loves without worrying he'll be pulled back into the Upside Down. Season 4 nearly broke Hopper completely, but he managed to survive the Russian prison and get back to the US. And at the end of Season 5, he'd better be able to finally kick his broken feet up and enjoy being a bona fide family man once again. After reliving all of her trauma with the Hawkins Lab and won all over again in Season 4, only to fail to defeat Vecna and nearly lose Max, Elle doesn't believe in herself the way she used to. Out of all the characters in Stranger Things, Eleven deserves happiness the most, because despite everything that's happened to her, she's willing to put herself through whatever it takes to protect the ones she loves. 